hello guys welcome to my channel techmon.in in this video of short and simple we are going to learn how to apply concat and concat underscore ws in PySpark. i've uh, loaded the required libraries here i've created the spark session here and then uh, the data source i'm using is uh, has been pulled from kegel.com zip codes county crosswalk so on so uh, this data set contained originally five columns but i didn't require two columns so i've dropped them and now the data set i'm going to use looks uh, like this we have zip code county name and state so the problem with this data set here, uh, here is if we have to merge it with another data set i always have to merge on three columns i mean by that i mean in my joint condition for example apply inner join on county as a okay now in join condition on condition i'll always have to mention some let's say it is a p data set i'll also have to apply a dot zip equal to p dot zip and again a dot county name equal to p dot and so on similarly of my third condition here right so it is like uh, maintaining uh, always making sure we have uh, m we are merging all the columns correctly then there is uh, another thing we uh, in another video i uh, told you how we uh, what how important coalesce function is and uh, how we make use of them in you know when we are joining multiple data set so again that problem will arise here and we have to solve that coalesce problem for three columns so it's too much of a task so one of the solution could be to combine these three columns together to create one single column which will be the primary key for this data set and we can uh, achieve that using concat and concat underscore ws so before that I'll also show you how, uh, as you can see in county name, we have spaces between uh, different words, right? So first we will learn how to re uh, remove them and then we are going to merge the three columns. So let's get started. So I'm going to uh, create, uh, not actually create a new column. I'm just going to replace the values inside these column. So for uh, replacing a uh, spaces i'm going to use regular expression replace so in this our uh, first uh, it takes in three uh, parameter first one is the column name which is county name second is the pattern of uh, which we are looking to replace so in our case we are looking to replace space uh, we also represented uh, spaces as uh, slash s uh, small s in a regular expression plus means uh, even if there are multiple spaces like three spaces it will also look for that but these three spaces must be together right so it takes care of your one and more spaces this is the re regular expression it is just stating to find all the spaces no matter how many spaces there are they should be together one or more right it will find all the spaces or such a pattern of spaces and replace it with we can either pass none or we can pass any value but in our case uh, we are not going to pass anything because ultimately our aim is to merge all the three columns so let me quickly show you what our data set will look like after this let me pull out content records okay so what uh, kind of results we are expecting so as you can see the spaces have been removed and now there will not be any multiple words in this uh, column all the spaces has been removed so they will uh, make up a single word now uh, we are all set to create a new column so first we'll use uh, concat and see what it does I'm going to create new column this time concat let me call it 
primary key in concat we can pass as many columns as you know you want to pass so we are going to pass all the three columns first one is zip second one is county name third one is so let me show you the result of this so uh, concat uh, just merges the values as you can see here it merges the values together and they are not separated they are not either separated by space or any other special character like hyphen underscore or anything like that right but what if uh, i dropped my these three column and later on i want to restore my values for example if i want to separate out 36003 county name and so on i won't be able to do that because now there is no way to do that we can uh, write some regular expression to find out numbers in the beginning and you know just pull them out uh, we can also look for county and split the rest of the word on county and then pull them out but that will uh, be too much of a task for a simple thing we could uh, you know maintain or take care of early on so similar to this there is a county ws it works similarly on cat in this also we pass multiple column but before uh, passing all these columns we pass one more let me change the name call concat plus we also pass in our separator for example i can pass hyphen i can pass underscore and now or uh, it's better to show the results now all my column values will be separated by this you know special character which we pass here so now in future if i drop these three column and i now want to restore uh, you know my values it is much easy to do because we just have to split the data set on these special character and we'll get our all the three column or values back right regular expression in this case will not be that difficult to you know create because we know us uh, very uh, this pattern is uh, unique in itself we have number and we don't expect numbers in either country name or country code or state code right we don't expect anything like that so we can definitely and also zip code has a fixed length of one two three four five it is of five length so it is easy to fit regular expression for zip code then for country code uh, county uh, name as well as you can see here we know it ends with uh, with the keyword county we can easily sp uh, split this part here on county and we will get uh, after splitting on county we will get two values first one will be your county name and another will be state code right it is much easier to fit regular expression and it looks uh, easy uh, to recreate a uh, the values from this but not always there could be scenarios where uh, recreating uh, values will be really next to you know very difficult i won't say impossible maybe um, it could be a next to impossible right uh, so that's in those scenarios it's better to you uh, separate these columns by a keyword so that they can be recreated so that's the difference between the two and that's it for, uh, for this video hope you are enjoying my work and uh, learning from it please uh, if you have any feedback share it in comments i definitely uh, work on that and definitely if there's uh, something you want to learn just share it in comments and i'll make a video for that as well so thank you uh, for viewing this and please do subscribe to my channel stay tuned bye bye